Hi everyone, Dr. Gretchen here, physical therapist and MS specialist at Vivising Link. I wanted to bring some rollator exercises with me today to share with you. I have a lot of clients who use a rollator for walking around, and the beauty of rollators is, yes, it can help you be more stable while walking, but you can also do a lot of exercises from your rollator. Some standing and some seated. Today, we're gonna focus on seated. Before we get to the exercises, I do just want to state a disclaimer that most rollator companies, including Byacre, which is where this beautiful rollator is from, do not suggest that you exercise on them. In fact, Byacre says not to. However, I feel like if you have proper guidance and are safe enough to do so, it's actually a really great tool. So just keep that in mind as we continue. The way to know that you're safe to use a rollator for exercise is based on your core stability. So if you can sit with your feet on the ground, your butt on the chair, not holding on, and sit up tall. And if you can stay in a good posture for a few minutes like this, that usually means you're safe enough to keep yourself stable while exercising on the rollator. I've got lots of favorite exercises for the rollator, but my first two are for the quads and the hamstrings. So let's do a brief anatomy overview. The quad muscles are the muscles responsible for straightening your knee and your hamstring muscles on the back of your thigh are responsible for bending your knee. And guess what? When you walk, when you climb stairs, two of the movements we have to do are bending our knee and straightening our knee. So even though we're sitting down for this exercise, it's going to help with your walking. How great is that? Hopefully when you sat down on your rollator, you had the brakes on. So prior to exercising, with these two exercises, we need to take the brakes off. So go ahead and take the brakes off. And what you're going to do is have your feet firmly planted on the ground. And first, you're going to straighten your knees so that you move backwards. Remember, you, your body stays up nice and tall. You're not physically leaning backwards. You're pushing your feet so that the rollator moves backwards like that. Then pull yourself forwards. Pulling forward is a whole lot harder than pushing back. So you're pushing back and forward. Keep your ab muscles nice and tight. This is a challenging exercise. And pull push back. So when you're pushing back like this, you're using your quad muscles. And when you're pulling forward like that, you're using the hamstrings. So it's quad strengthening, hamstring strengthening, quad and hamstring. So you can go back and forth like this. Again, doing your best to keep good posture. Abs are engaged, shoulders are down away from your ears. Do as many as you can with good quality. If you're really good at that, one thing you can do is even walk forward. So you use both of your feet to pull your legs as you move forward. You can do that for a few steps or just maybe one or two or several, 10 to 15, and then come backwards. So straight in one foot, then the other. Another one of my favorite exercises to do on a rollator is an exercise for the tricep muscles, the muscles on the back of our arms. We use these muscles a lot specifically to stand up. Now, normally, if you're standing up from a toilet or a couch or a regular chair, you don't have armrests this high. But since you do when you're sitting on a rollator, we can use that to our advantage to strengthen our arm muscles. So for this one, what you're going to do is put your brakes on. From here, your feet are planted on the floor and get back to your good posture. So shoulders down, abdominal muscles are tight, and you're gonna hold on to the handles, the armrests, and you're going to squeeze your, your elbows in towards your side. So you want your elbows facing the back of the room. Now from here, you're going to straighten your elbows. So you're gonna push down with your hands, your abs are tight, push down with your hands to stand up, and then slowly lower. And we are trying our best to not use our legs right now. This would be easier if you use our legs, but we're doing it for an arm 
strengthening exercise. You don't even need to fully stand, just push up maybe an inch and down. So you're trying to clear your butt off of the chair and then down. Let me show you from a slightly different angle just so you can see this seat a little bit better. So hands are on the armrest, squeeze your elbows back, shoulders are down away from your ears, push up and down. We're not engaging our leg muscles too much, we're just trying to straighten our elbows so that our butt clears the chair. And you should be feeling this in your tricep muscles on the back of your arm. If you're feeling it in your legs, then you're not doing the exercise correctly, but that's okay, you will get there over time. There are so many other great rollator based exercises that you can do. Some are for cardio, some are for your upper body, your core muscles, your legs. I'll get to all of those at a different time. For now, if you are looking for more MS specific exercises, consider checking out my online MS wellness program, The Missing Link. I'll give you more information in the comments below.